Elizabeth, can I introduce myself to you? Four years ago, I was one of the main volunteers here in San Diego working for Dennis, and uh, I have met him, he knows me. Um, I, I was hoping that I would get a chance to give him something, okay. but he's not here, so I'm going to give it to you. Okay, and your name is? Eric Siegel. Eric, very nice to see you. Yeah, and it's, it's really a pleasure meeting you, and his speech downstairs earlier today was fantastic. I'm going to try to get it up on YouTube as soon as possible, so you, you'll be able to see it there. Uh, and what I want to give you is one of the best films on 9-11. It's called 9-11 Mysteries. And the, the issue with what happened on that day is extremely important because the real criminals who did that still are free and have never been caught and never been brought to justice. And it's the cornerstone of everything else that's going on, including the wars in the Middle East. Huh? And so I really I've seen hope. It. Dennis and I have seen it. Oh, you have. And we've read most of everything that we're given and watched all the DVDs that we're given. Yeah, we, uh, oh, we understand. Then I, if you've seen it, I don't know. Then you don't have to carry it around. But, but thank you. Thank yeah. You Do you that. want to keep it? It doesn't matter if you've seen it. That's that. The main thing is I wanted to make sure yeah. that you saw that. Yeah, I have. We have seen it, and it's very important to, to yes. for us really to look into that. Uh, later this year, Dennis will be conducting small investigation into some specific areas of 9/11 that haven't been answered on his domestic policy subcommittee. Um, he's not said which areas, but he will be looking at them. We've only got a very small staff, so we can't do the whole, you know, a whole recommissioning of it. Uh -huh. But uh, we hope that this investigation will help to really widen the discussion. And when is that investi yeah. investigation going to start? Be, it will be later this year. It'll probably be maybe around the fall, but um, we still have to get all the research together. So and all of the warships that are circling Iran right now, yeah. they're all uh, waiting for the orders for the president to say, start firing. What what, what are we going to do if, if he does that? Well, Dennis um, actually filed the um, bill of impeachment for Cheney. Thank God. Because of the Iran issue. I mean, it's just the, you know, it, the threat the, the threats that they were causing on Iran is just, just abominable. So it really is time for diplomacy. It's really time for a whole new direction for this country. And um, yeah, we've got we've got 1,500 strategic bombing targets of Iran. We've got warships in the region. We've got bunker busters in the region. We've got the diplomats who are over on the Iraq side have been, um, have been uh, taken by the U.S. forces. I mean, it's really... It's really a tough situation. This country is really provoking as much as it can to go to war with Iraq, Iran. And, um, it's very scary because it means very, World War Three. It, it really does. It will align all of all of the Muslim brothers and sisters in what is not a religious war at the moment. It will turn it into a religious war. It's a, a very, very obnoxious thing that's happening, and we're very, very serious about you know trying to change the course of that direction. So. Well, I, I congratulate you and Dennis, and it, it's really a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, and, and uh, I hope that you will be the first lady. Thank you. Thanks yeah. very much. It's nice to see you.